some evenings you just gotta double down. And today, that's gonna be with the Alaskan Smash Galaxy. Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. This evening, nice cool evening in late September, I'm going to be enjoying the Alaskan Smash Galaxy Double IPA, which bills itself with the additional definitions of being a single malt and single hop. Now, single malt is something that you're going to be hearing, or you might be more familiar with in relation to whiskeys. And I believe that it means that there is a single grain involved. That's what I'm guessing it means here. So it's a single type of grain. Most, most of the time, your, your beers and even your whiskeys, most of your um, malt beverages, are going to be made with a combination of grains. It's called the malt bill. It's the, the ratios of the various grains, um, wheat, barley, rice, corn, uh, oats even, um, millet, sorghum, when you get into the gluten-free beers. And those combinations of grains produce the maltiness, the malt character, kind of the, it's really the foundation of the beer that you're drinking. So this being a single malt, I have not looked up to see what malt it is. I've also not looked up to see what hop it is. I'll probably look those up later just to satisfy my nerdy little heart. But not knowing what those are, I'm not sure what character they will bring to the beer. But I would expect it to have... Well, okay. Expectations. Anytime I see words, anytime you see words, you see advertising copy, you see the, the art on a can, it generates ideas in your mind, right? I'm no different from anybody else. There's expectations involved here. So I see single malt and single hop, and I'm thinking, oh, cool. What's that really gonna mean though? Practically, it's probably not going to be like blow your mind amazing, but it will be interesting. It will be interesting because I know that the malt in this beer is going to be coming from a single grain. So that character, that malt character, will be specific to that grain. Now, this being a double IPA, it's going to be super hopped. It's going to be highly alcoholic. Um, and so that malt is really going to be playing a distant second fiddle. So I'm not sure if the malt, the single malt, is really going to be anything more than interesting ad copy in this case. It might be more. This is all expectations. This is just what's going around in my head before I've even smelt this beer or tasted this beer. When you're talking about single malt in a whiskey, you can have, there are delicious blended whiskeys. Some of the most drinkable and tasty whiskeys out there are blended, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? It's, if you enjoy it, it's the right whiskey for you. If you enjoy it, it's the right beer for you. When you're talking about single malts, that is also a statement of the brewer's craft that they are able to pull whatever those flavors and aromas are in the finished product from a single type of grain. Brilliant. Great. So that's kind of the thoughts that are going around in my head regarding this being a single malt and a single hop double India Pale Ale. Double we've talked to before. It just means it's gone up to 11. It's generally, uh, I believe, 8% or higher ABV counts as double. It doesn't mean they actually doubled all the ingredients or anything. Um, but all that out of the way, let's dive into this. So initially, color-wise, this is a, a light honey. Um, it is The light's kind of dim here, so you're probably not seeing it very great, but it's, it's almost bordering on orange. Um, it's a nice rich color, what you'd expect from a, a double pale ale. The aroma is apples. Maybe corn stalks? That's interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna guess that this has similar malt or similar hops to one or another of the gluten-free IPAs. I believe um, the psychrophilic, I wanna say. Um, because I'm getting a similar um, herbaceous character, herbaceous nose from this. 
There's also maybe some, maybe some peaches or some just generic fruit orchards. Like there's a few different layers going on here to the to the aroma. It smells, it smells to the thicker side of an IPA, which you'd expect given that it's a double. So let's drink it. Hmm. There's a honey sweetness that starts it and finishes it. That's interesting. The hops, yeah, it's probably um, a similar hop variety to what um, ghost, not ghost fish, um, whoever makes psychrophilic. Uh, I'm going to guess. I would imagine if I looked this up, I would probably find that those are they're using the same hops. There's definitely a creaminess. Um, there's some fruit, so so kind of the honey sweetness, but at times it, it presents as a, an apple juice. Um, no berries, no no stone fruit, just, just kind of an apple juice sweetness. Um, the malt character for a double IPA is surprisingly pronounced. And I believe that might be the, 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 the maltiness, the, the more heavily alcoholic maltiness, because that's going to mean you had to have more sugars to begin with in order to produce more alcohol. So that malt sweetness, but it's a surprisingly clean malt sweetness. Um, I'm very interested now to see what malt it is that makes this. I suppose that's what they're going for, right? It's a beer nerd's beer. <laughs> Hmm. Now, okay, drawbacks. There is a very distinct beginning and ending to this beer. And it's not that they're disjointed, but they're not super strongly connected because they are so cleanly different. There's this sweetness that it opens with, and you really don't get the hops until you get kind of around the back sides. Um, and then as you swallow it. So as the, the beer is just over the front of your tongue, you're just tasting the sweetness. And it's a very pleasant sweetness. It's a, it's a creamy, honey-like, maybe just a hint of apple uh, sweetness. But then it then you get this bitterness. And you still have the sweetness kind of holding it all together. But it's like you have kind of two, two strong notes that are both happening at the same time. And they're not really fighting each other. But there's not something else connecting them. I think is how I'm going to put this. But that is quite tasty. It's certainly not a bad beer. It's a very delicious beer. And I think that's probably a great place to end this. This has been Alaskan Brewing's Smash Galaxy Double IPA Single Malt and Single Hop. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.